On the tip of the Iberian Peninsula, Tarifa is the southernmost city in Europe. This thin stretch of the Mediterranean separating Europe from Africa is a transit point for whales and a rich fishing ground for tuna that feed on the nutrients of the Mediterranean. It is also a major transit route for world trade, with as many as 300 ships passing through here daily. It is on ships like these that researchers believe the invasive algae has come to create what people here call an environmental nightmare. I know the sea current well, and in my life I haven't seen anything like this before. Many octopus used to be seen, and now he has seen one or two a year The algae's scientific name is Rugolopteryx okamure. Originally from Asia, it thrives on the seabed 10 to 20 meters deep, has no predators, and takes over crevices where marine species live. What you see is a blanket of algae. In fact, I have filmed a mullet stuck on top of the algae. Spider crabs walking on top of the algae. They are without their caves, without the cracks, which is where they take shelter. Tarifa is home to 44 fishing boats, and they are in danger of disappearing. They arrive at ports with nets filled with algae instead of fish and end up in the garbage. Tuna are the most prized game fish, but their food source is disappearing. Also endangered is the tourism industry. The algae are a nuisance both for bathers and for those who come here for kite surfing. For divers, spotting marine life has also become tricky. The algae move with the tides from one place to another. There are days when there are many and there are days when there are fewer. The algae came from the coasts of China, Japan and the Korean Peninsula and made its way here in untreated ballast waters of cargo ships. Researcher Antonio Vegara has been studying possible solutions, including having ships clean their tanks before docking at Spanish and Moroccan ports. The ships that operate in Tangemed, Gibraltar and Algeciras Bay should have their ballast waters treated, especially those that come from Asia, the origin of this algae. Vegara lectures at Tarifa's Adult Education Centre, and his work includes finding ways to use the algae to make products such as fertilisers and cosmetics. For Alfonso Beato in Tarifa, Spain, John Spear, VOA News.